Well, Phil, in the latest PES Win magazine, which you can download at PESWin.com or have it mailed to you, mine is still in the mail from the Royal Mail. I'm not expecting it any moment, but I, I had a little insight into the magazine. And the article that I, I first saw and was most intriguing at the beginning was this article from Bergelin. And if you haven't uh, looked at their products lately, you need to go do that. The The one that is the hot seller at the minute is this one component top coat paint, basically. So if you're doing repair out in the field and you and you, you got a big area you just fixed with fiberglass and resin and all these great things and it looks all great, you want to coat that, right? So to prevent UV degradation and weathering of that new composite structure you just built, well, most of the kits you buy, the top coat kits are two parts. You have to mix them together and they cure. So you have this limited window in which you use it. And then you end up wasting a lot of material, in my opinion, having done it. So the one component top coat is really interesting. In fact, I've ordered that material and I've used that material. And we're, we're playing with it now and evaluating it at WeatherGuard. It looks pretty good. It is a lot easier to use for sure. I don't think it gives you as smooth a finish as maybe a, a two-part system, which has a lot of other um, additives to it, I'll call it, that may not be uh, the best smelling additives. Uh, but the, the one component system is pretty simple to use. You just It is a, literally a squirt bottle, and a, you just take a roller and spread it around, and it dries relatively quickly. And so far, it has worked well in our test. So thumbs up on that one. And But Brooklyn has a couple other things, Phil. One is they got this... Um, uh, UV cured system for composite, so you can actually cure a, a, a prepreg using UV, which I think is the slickest thing ever. And I think a lot of operators and repair companies, ISPs, are starting to use because of the speed of it. Uh, but they're also working on some leaning edge protection uh, and some high temperature fillers. A, a, an erosion resistant top coat uh, is in play at the minute. So the, the people at Berglin, it, it, you figure we've been, and Phil, you've been around this a long time. There's been so much to do with, with the materials that are applied to wind turbine blades that extend the lifetime, and we still haven't reached that pinnacle. There's still a lot of great ideas coming into that mix to make better materials, and Bergelin it clearly is working really hard on it, and it's good stuff. So if you're interested in seeing the Bergelin information, just visit PESWin.com. 